So Andre, I have seen these kind of types of videos on uh, YouTube before mm -hmm. that actually teach beginners techniques for trading penny stocks. Mm -hmm. um, so they, the techniques have got all sorts of names, things like gaps and bull flags and reversals and support and resistance and breakouts. Do you have any comments on those kind of videos? I mean, I don't understand this, all these videos and all these, uh, you know, everything you just mentioned. Yeah. Penny stocks are very simple things. Uh, there's no difference between penny stocks and normal stocks. So I don't know, I mean, how many, how many techniques do you need to trade a simple, you know, stock? How many, you know, ways of doing it and all these different you know, ways of telling you, you should do it this way, you should do it that way, you should do it this way, you should do it that way. No. It, you, all you need is one strategy and it, you don't need to approach it a million ways. Confuse yourself. And this is the other thing. People are flooded with information and they lose. They lose what they, you know, any common sense. And oh, they follow this one, they follow that one, they follow... I mean, penny stocks, I mean, um, in US, I think it's anything less than uh, $3 is classified as a penny stock or whatever. Um, I think it's probably not a good idea to buy penny stocks if they're under two, $2 or two pounds or two euros. I think if, if it gets to about two and above, then maybe you can start getting interested in it because it can probably may go higher and in fact that's what I did I uh, six stocks uh, I bought just around the two pound level and they went to 18 pounds and 23 pounds and that's probably why I managed to uh, you know get put a fund together it was it was a good start when I started so if you are interested in penny stocks you know there's no mystery uh, most of the penny stocks, I would say, might as well just go play by, you know, if you're going to put a 500 pounds, you know, buy lottery tickets, maybe you'll win more <laughs> because you're completely gambling, mm -hmm. you know, with 500 pounds lottery ticket, you might actually get yeah. something back, right? Uh, well, most of them just get flushed, yeah, so ridiculous, so, but there's no special way of trading penny stock, I would say only try to see that it reaches a certain level. Uh, be careful. And I would say I, I'd rather you put money in more established companies and blue chip stocks. You'll do better.